So who is he? He's Jones Beach. All right, YouTube, so I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys and say that this video idea came to me right before I hit the button to turn on the camera because, trust me, before then, for several minutes, I was stuck on a writer's block, stuck on a creative block, which is the worst feeling, but as time and time again proves, I am a creative person and ideas pop in my head and quickly I turn them into videos. So for today's vlog, I figured since I made already made a Batman-related vlog, that I ought to do a, another Batman related vlog and I'll be talking about my opinions on the Dark Knight trilogy. So of course these are three of the best movies I've ever seen. I think these are all great movies. I think even The Dark Knight Rises is an amazing movie. I know it's kind of a base breaker, a bit of a controversial mixed review movie but I honestly really liked it and since I'm talking about it I'll go in that order. I think it's like super cool seeing the Fast forward to Gotham sort of without Batman, although sometimes that doesn't always work. Like I thought the Gotham series was kind of weird being a Batman series without Batman. But anyways, um, yeah, Bane was super badass and definitely a good interpretation of a more realistic Bane seeing as he didn't have Venom, although maybe he was on steroids for all we know, but that's to the audience to decide. But um, yeah, this movie definitely had a great soundtrack. The ending was phenomenal and Although this movie's been out since 2012, I won't spoil it. I'll just say that this movie is very underrated and has a super badass villain, super badass you know, uh, anti-hero Catwoman, although she's never referred to as Catwoman in the movie. And Batman's story was definitely very interesting. Although something I would say that I would have done differently at least is kind of, I feel like in the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman wasn't Batman for that long. So I think for future Batman movies, maybe instead of repeating this sort of story, they should try something a little more creative and innovative and that way it's a little less predictable and gives something new to try. And of course The Dark Knight goes without saying, probably definitely the best one of the trilogy. Heath Ledger was absolutely breathtaking as Joker and Batman had the suit upgrade, although I personally like the Batman Begins suit more because I feel like he was more badass and intimidating in that suit because he looked bigger and stronger on like this suit. but suit was still cool there were definitely lots of great visuals something i remember in this movie that i thought was a super cool nod was when batman sets like a timer on his thing that he uses to shoot the tracker beam the amount of time that is shown on that clock is the same amount of time that's in the scene to get to the climax i don't know how to put what i'm saying in words but just go on youtube and watch the hong kong scene in the dark knight and you'll know exactly what i'm talking about and Batman Begins is an amazing superhero origin movie. I think it's the definitive superhero origin movie if you ask me. And the vehicles are all cool and I really like the characters. I especially like the subtle nod to some other characters like in The Dark Knight there's one um, prisoner that's sort of like Killer Croc although he's not a crocodile but he's likely Nolan's interpretation of Killer Croc. He's a prisoner who's a big dude and has, uh, I don't remember, I forgot what I was going to say what else but um. Also, Bane's right-hand henchman, or his main gunman, is sort of the dead shot of this universe, and the character Mysteries, which sounds like Mysteries, which is likely a nod to the Riddler, so I think Christopher Nolan is a very smart director, and I really like these movies, so yeah, these are my brief opinions on the Dark Knight trilogy, so the next vlog I want to make relating to Batman is talking about the Dark Knight 4 that hasn't, has, and probably will never come out, but Sort of just my theories or ideas on how that could go because I've seen some cool fan art and trailers and fan ideas that I figure I ought to give my own opinions on. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more soon. Goodbye. State Park.